Chapter 5 Zamp ignores the coach's warning that running on an indoor board track takes experience. He flies to New York, runs at Madison Square Garden, is bumped off the board track, and ends up with a torn ligament in his foot. When he arrives back home, I'm not so worried about my foot. That will heal. It's the pain under my collarbone that bothers me. Eat this. You'll feel better soon. Zamp, you'll never learn, will you? Just as stubborn as a mule. When his foot heals, he tries running again. What happened? I was running, and all of a sudden I blacked out. You're sick, Zamp. You shouldn't try to run. For many months, he's ill. His studies are neglected. After final exams, the dean talks to him. I'm sorry, Zamp. I know you have been sick, but your grades are too low. So you're flunking me. Okay, I'll quit college. And then comes the attack on Pearl Harbor. Zamp enlists for pilot training in the Air Corps. All right, you men, never mind the planes. You'll get your chance. Report to the CO on the double. But his mind is too much on running. His failure at college and all the chances he has thrown away because of his temper and stubbornness. Yippee, Zamp, I got my wings. Hey, what's eating you? I washed out. He then signs up for bombardier training and is sent to Officer's Candidate School in Midland, Texas. He is graduated as a second lieutenant and sent to Hawaii with the 307th Bomb Group. You made it, Zamp. Yep, I wasn't going to foul up this time, and I didn't. On Christmas Eve, 1942, our objective is Wake Island, 2,400 miles distant. It's the first American raid on that target, so make it good. The flak and fighter fire is heavy, but the raid is pushed through successfully. Zamp's B-24 makes raid after raid on Japanese targets. He calls himself lucky. In the eyes of his buddies, he seems to lead a charmed life. Early in 1943, his squadron is ordered to bomb heavily guarded Nauru at 8,000 feet in broad daylight. Oh, oh! I thought this was supposed to be a surprise! Look at those zeros. They'll knock us down like clay pigeons. As they approach their target, they can see the sky is thickly dotted with flak. Swarms of zeros like angry hornets are ready to meet them. They make their bomb run, then... We're hit! The waste gunner and the upper turret gunners are dead. When the war breaks out, he fails to become a pilot, but he works real hard and becomes a bombardier. On a bombing mission, his plane is hit and several airmen are killed. Will Zamp make it back alive? Tune in next time for Chapter 6 of the Louis Zamparini Story. Story.